Today we're going to talk about another article of clothing. Remember when we talked about hats? Maybe you saw the hat video. Today we're, not, we're talking about a tie. And you notice I've got my mask on, and my mask has something to do with a tie as well. In fact, what we do is, when it is, looks this color, we call it a tie-dye. And they call it a tie-dye because they take this material and they tie it up with cords of material and they tie it all up so that some parts are dyed and some are not. And there we have another rhyming words, tie and die. Tie, die, I shan't tell you a lie. Oh, there's another word that rhymes with tie. So we have tie, die, and lie. And there's going to be some others as well. And the die we're talking about is D-Y-E, die, tie, and die. This is a tie-dye mask. But today we're talking about this type of tie. A tie is clothing that we wear around our neck. Okay? And we have lots of different names. This is called a necktie. And we call this one a bow tie. And it goes here around your neck as well. Where do we see a tie? Where does someone wear a tie? They could wear a tie to a special ceremony. They could wear a tie to look sharp. They could wear a tie to dress up a shirt. All right, who wears a tie? Do moms wear a tie? Yes. Do dads sometimes wear a tie? Yes. Okay. A tie is a little different than a scarf. A scarf is normally a square. And so that's, a, a scarf is not a tie, but it looks the same because you wear it around your neck. A tie. So ties can be worn by men, women, and children. All types of ties. And there are different types, of, like I said, a necktie and a bow tie. Also, ties are made, have different textures. Sometimes they're smooth and sometimes they have a pattern on them, a pattern like this. You can see these little flowers right here. And we also see that in the bow tie, we have stripes. And the stripes go across like this. Those are our stripes. Stripes like a zebra. Stripes that you can't see. Stripes everywhere. And we also have shiny ones, like this red shiny one, where people would dress up for them. Some people wear ties every day. Other people just wear them for what we call formal times. Formal times is when people get married, when there's a ceremony, and you'll notice them wearing either a bow tie or a necktie. But they also wear another different tie called a bolo tie. And a bolo tie looks like a string tie. And right at the top, there is a clasp that holds the strings together. You'll see sometimes cowboys wear them, and cowgirls wear them sometimes as well. So we have a bow tie, a necktie, a bolo tie, and a string tie. All right, now, so if we look, shall we tie one on? Shall we tie a tie on? So in a tie, notice it's very long, and one side is wide, and one side is narrow. So when we put this necktie on, we put it over the top, and we push up the collar of our shirt up like this, so it stands up. And then we take the two sides of the tie and make one very long and one short. A narrow side and a wide side. Look, wide, and narrow. They're not the same. The pattern is the same, but they're, one is larger and one is smaller. And we use the word wide and narrow. Now, so we hold these just like this, and we make sure that we've got them so we can slide it up and down. And we take the wide one and we put it over the narrow one. 
like this, and we hold this with our fingers really tight, and we put our other hand under, and now we're gonna go over and down through this hole. There's a little hole right here. And so this goes down the hole, just like a rabbit going down the hole or a gopher. And then we pull it all the way down, all the way down. So it gets nice and tight. We hold it with our fingers. And we keep making this. This is called the knot. And we're gonna make this knot really tight. And then we're gonna take the other one and go down the hole again, just like the gopher or the rabbit going down the hole. And we hold it with our fingers, and so it crosses over. And this looks like a little tie here, but it's gonna be that narrow end. Then we go across, right across the front. And this time, instead of going down the hole, we're coming up the hole, up the hole, just like a rabbit or a gopher coming out of the hole and we push the wide side out. <coughs> Excuse me, we're almost done. We take the wide side and it goes down in the front, just like this, and we push it down. And we have to take our fingers, we have to hold this part, and we have to pull this back down. Really close. Okay, now you'll notice it's almost ready. Now we have the narrow side, and the white side, and we pull down on it and slide the knot up, 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 all the way up to our neck. And we look at the, at the ends here of the wide side and the narrow side meet each other. And at the top right here, we can now make a little adjustment right here. We can slide it up more and we can make our knot a little bit smaller just like this. So remember, lots of people can wear ties. And we're not finished yet because we have to fold our collar down, all the way down the collar of our shirt. This is called the collar. And we make this straighten this all out here. And we make one tiny little adjustment right here. And then on the back of our tie, we have a little loop this little loop, just like the loop on your coat. And we take the narrow side and go down the hole, pull it there even, and we have our tie tied. And now you're ready to go out to a celebration or to dress up to look fancy or just because you want to wear a tie that has lots of colors in it. Remember, we have the word tie and sty, that rhyme, and sty and dye, that is the color and things. So we have all of those. And here's a funny, funny picture of a giraffe wearing a tie. Not one tie, but many ties. One, two, three. Oh, there's a bow tie. Four, five, six, seven, seven ties on a giraffe. Now, that would look very funny. He'd have to have someone help him with a ladder to tie those ties. And here are several other pictures of animals wearing ties. Here's our pig, and he has his tie on, and he's in his little corral. A corral where they keep pigs is called a sty. A tie, a sty. And we have two more pictures. We know they have the giraffe, okay, and we have a walrus. Here's a walrus wearing a tie. Well, what would happen with a walrus who wore a tie? His tie would always be wet. That would be funny. And our last picture of an animal with a tie on is a possum. Because if a possum wore clothes, he would wear it upside down. He's hanging from his tail. And there is his tie. So remember, if you want to wear a tie, talk to mom and dad about getting a tie. And you can tie that up and they can help you. And you can wear a tie as well. Bye, friends.